Happy Friday, everybody. I had just thrown myself into cleaning like crazy this evening, and then I remembered I have something I need to do before I disappear into the long holiday weekend, and that is to pick a winner for my extra copy of The Will to Battle by Ada Palmer. So I asked you guys to let me know if you wanted it. Some of you said yes, so I wrote all your names down on pieces of paper, which I have folded up and put in this little container, and I'm gonna pick one now. Read all the books. You are the winner. Congratulations. Um, I will send you a message through YouTube, so be looking for that. Unless you want me to contact you some other way, just let me know, because I need to get your address, and then I will send this to you shortly after Christmas. Not on Saturday, though, because I'm not leaving my house until Christmas is over. <laughs> it's a little bit crazy out there. And it's actually supposed to snow on Christmas Eve here. I'm crossing my fingers. It's been a while since we've had anything close to a cold or a white Christmas. So, um, that out of the way, a very short Friday Reads while I'm here anyway. <laughs> um, I haven't been reading all that much. And my dog is back there making a lot of noise. Ava, what are you doing? This happens all the time. Now I feel very awkward. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what I'm reading. This past week, I finished um, The Glass Town Game by Catherine Valente, and I joined my friend Tara for her Christmas reread of The Dark is Rising by Susan Cooper, which is the second book in a series with the same name, The Dark is Rising. Um, I actually bought this huge omnibus of all five books uh, years ago when I intended to reread them because this whole series were favorite, favorite books of mine when I was a kid. Um, I originally read them not realizing they were part of a series, and at some point I reread some of them. Um, but it's been a good 10 years since I've revisited any of them. So I reread the second book with Tara, and it was really good. There's an awful movie made out of it, and we'll just ignore that that exists. It was truly terrible. Um, but I've decided to continue on with rereading the other four books, so I'm currently backtracked to work on the first book called Oversea Under Stone. I'm about three chapters into it. And so far, this is really hitting the spot for just vacation, Christmas, reading, and everything. They're not exactly middle grade books. I would say they're young adult, though written in the 60s and 70s when young adult wasn't a thing. Um, and the other thing that I've been reading is, well, my copy, not this copy, of The Will to Battle, which actually I haven't read that much of yet because I need a good, long, unbroken stretch of time to devote to it, and I haven't had that recently, but we'll see around Christmas. Otherwise, I'm keeping my options open because I'm probably going to get books for Christmas. I have a couple of Secret Santa packages to open up as well, and I'm pretty sure there are books too. <laughs> I think we can be, be pretty sure about that. Um, so yes, I'm going to go back to cleaning because most of Christmas is going to be at my house this year, and I suddenly understand why my mother panics about cleaning her house every year. Hi, parents. <laughs> Hopefully they don't watch this video. <laughs> anyway, that is it for me today. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and a very Merry Christmas. And until next time, bye.